this was not supposed to happen. Big Joe got through the gate. Back in there. Hey guys, Dusty Baker of Cross Thurman's Bison. Welcome back to the channel. First thing I want to do today is thank my sponsor, Bespoke. I'm going to tell you later about this awesome company. Oh, my face is, uh, it looks swollen. You got to love the dentist, right? Oh, I just got back from the dentist. Now it's time to go to work. If I talk funny and it doesn't come out right or I look funny, everything's good. Um, we're all healthy and fine. So. Dunbar, dad gummit, you got cockaburrs in your hair. Ugh. Look at that crap. I hate these things so bad. Hey guys, I got some fun stuff though today. My goal is to get Kit right here. She's our feisty cow. I'm gonna attempt to get Kit out of here. I'm gonna put her with the big herd. Yes, I'm gonna put Kit with the big herd back with Big Joe and the rest of them. And then there is a heifer, which she's right here. This is the biggest yearling heifer we have. Kevin has been seeing some signs from her to of possibly being in heat. So she is a little bit small and she could possibly breed. So what I'm gonna do is actually put her with Dunbar and we'll see how that goes and see if he'll breed her. I don't know, we'll see. I'm not sure what'll happen, but She's a big enough heifer that could possibly breed. She's pretty too. So this heifer uh, is from Peter Coles, which is in Missouri. We just can't put her in there with Kit because Kit, Kevin's already tried this. She's, he's actually already done this. He put this heifer out here with Dunbar, Kit, and Flo, and Kit just whooped the crap out of her. So I've got her out of I've already got her sorted away from these heifers, which is where she's been. We're gonna, we're gonna attempt this. That's the thing. That's who we gotta get. Gotta get you out of there, Kit. <laughs> they walk on this rock all funny. I'm gonna go ahead and shut the big guy in here. So it's, so it's moseyed in there. See, Kit, she's smart. She knows something's going on here. Perfect. Okay. This is what we wanted. We're gonna keep you here for the moment. Let your big butt back out with this calf. We gotta open this back up. So we've got a calf in here. This is flows. Come on. Okay, calf is back with Flo. We got Kit and her baby over there. Let's get the big guy back out. 
Okay, before I put Dunbar out back in the main pasture, I wanna tell you about our sponsor today. Hey guys, I wanna tell you about this awesome monthly membership. It's called Bespoke. This company has some great stuff. I mean, some really cool stuff. I'm actually very impressed. I've got all kinds of stuff right here. Look at this meat cleaver. I mean, this is, this is solid. This is the heaviest stuff I've ever picked up in my life. This sucker is the real deal right here. You guys already know we raise bison. We just got into the meat business. We also got an awesome box called the grill. The grill box came with four skewer baskets and it was easy to use. My wife and I put a nice dinner together. We grilled some bison in these skewer baskets. It was really easy. We put the vegetables in there. We put the bison meat in there. We grilled it and it was fabulous. It's an easy way to make skewers. I love supporting small businesses. That's kind of just one of the things that I just enjoy. That's what's great about a lot of these supplies and these goods that come in these boxes. They're all from small businesses. Every box has around $70 in value, but it only costs 45. Here's the great part about it is you only pay for what you want. One, you can keep the box. Two, swap it for a different box. Or three, you can skip the month entirely for absolutely no charge. They have all these choices on their website and you get to pick your box. If you go through the link in the description, scroll down to the bottom, take a short quiz. This will allow Bespoke to tailor boxes to your interest. I was able to pick some boxes. I got the carnivore. I got the grill. Also got grounds. I got the Terra. Got a bird call. So guys, you can get 20% off your first box. Click the link below in the description. Use the checkout code BISON20, all caps, BISON20, and you can get your 20% off your very first box. Come on, Hoss. Come on. Go. Go. Got a boy. Got a new female for you. Got some kits down there in the lane. We're gonna open this up for this heifer. And she's going with Dunbar. Come on, young lady. Dunbar, a new lady for you. There she goes. She's an older yearling heifer, so it's possible for her to breed. She's coming in heat, so that's why we put her in here with Dunbar, just to see if maybe could get pregnant. It's possible. Y'all can come back out. It's okay. There's the new matchup right there. He's already on protection. Atta boy. We're gonna go ahead and take that chance. I know it's late. Like I said in one of my previous videos, it is, we're getting down to the end of breeding season, but we've got a yearling heifer here that could uh, get pregnant. So we're gonna go ahead and take the chance. Of course, you know what my motto is, let's grow the herd. But now we gotta get old feisty kid out of here. I'm gonna go ahead and open up this gate. She's gotta come in here. And then I gotta get her out. I gotta, there's got a corner gate right there. I've got a corner gate right there. And see, there's the big herd. We want her to go down there with Big Joe. So Big Joe and Kit can reunite again.
calf and kit. Finally. Okay, so the difficult part is Kit's out here with her calf. Gotta open this corner gate, try to get her in here. You gotta really be careful around here. She's my feistiest one. But there's the big herd down there. Big Joe just got up. This is not the cow that you tried to push. I had to get down here to try to draw the big herd's attention. So maybe Kit will come this way. This was not supposed to happen. Big Joe got through the gate before I could do anything. And Dunbar's right there. I don't know if I can get him out. You really screwed all this up, you know what? You guys remember that time I told you it was easy to move bison? You know, those one or two times? It was just really easy and it worked out for me? Well, that's not one of these moments. It has not been easy for me. Big Joe got through the gate. That's exactly what I didn't want to happen. Him and Dunbar touched nose to nose. Problem. But luckily they didn't get rowdy and he was chasing Kit. I couldn't get Kit to go through the gate. She is tough. She is a tough, tough bison. So. Luckily, I got Big Joe distracted and I got them separated in this paddock. Got a paddock empty and Kit's still up here hanging out near Dunbar. So I'm just gonna leave a gate open because me forcing her and running her is not working. So thank you guys for watching. Cross Timbers Bison gets a little wild and crazy sometimes and things don't always work out, but trying to move, move a kid out and get a new heifer in because I think she may can breed. So all kinds of shenanigans. Thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna go let my jaw heal. <laughs>